Yo, what's up guys? My name is Top5, dude. Today we'll be counting down the top 5 most unbelievable moments caught on video part 2. Quickly before we start though, the hashtag to win one of the three shoutouts at the end of my next video will be unbelievable. All you have to do is leave a comment down below including that hashtag and be subscribed to my channel. I'm currently also giving away a $100 gift card plus some of my merch, so if you want to be entered then click the first link down in the description. With that said let's jump right on into the list starting today's list off we have a motorcycle accident that was caught on someone's dash cam most of the people who get in motorcycle accidents end up hurting themselves like really bad but this guy ended up getting really lucky he basically crashed into the back of someone's car and then landed on top of the trunk he probably would have injured himself or maybe even worse killed himself if he didn't stick his landing Moving on, we have a little girl who got bit by a dolphin. Now, this girl was simply feeding the dolphins like everyone else until suddenly a dolphin bites her in her arm and then almost drags her into the pool. Apparently, you are not supposed to hold the plate with food for the dolphins up in the air, which is exactly what this little girl did. Luckily for her, it was just a dolphin instead of something like a shark. So yeah, she only ended up with some bite marks on her arm who was bitten by a dolphin at SeaWorld. Check this out, it was all caught on videotape. This is a girl whose dream is to one day work with dolphins. Her parents knew visiting SeaWorld on their trip to Orlando was a must, but they may now be regretting it. Right. Here you go. Jillian Thomas, who's eight years old, says dolphins are her favorite animals. So imagine her horror when this happened during a recent trip to SeaWorld. Jillian, seen here innocently feeding the dolphins at the theme park's popular Dolphin Cove, was in the middle of her second visit of the day. That's when she apparently made a crucial mistake, raising the small plate of dolphin food in the air out of excitement. The park warns people not to do that. The dolphin, apparently eager for that bait, chomps down on Jillian's arm, instead nearly dragging her into the water. Her souvenir, a set of teeth marks the size of dimes. Hold it out like this. Her parents are furious, claiming SeaWorld employees trivialized the attack. In a statement, SeaWorld officials said, quote, nothing is more important to us than the health and safety of our guests, employees, and animals. Educators and animal care staff were at the attraction when this happened and immediately connected with the family. Next up, we have a lot of people on a cruise ship that suddenly started tilting while they were in the middle of the ocean. Most of the people on this cruise ship must have thought that it was going to be like a Titanic part 2 or something since the boat literally started flooding and it looked like it was about to sink. Apparently there was something wrong with the steering gear which caused the boat to list about 8 degrees. Slammed on the brakes. Get in, get in, get in! Panic on the high seas as a cruise ship suddenly tilts and water from the swimming pool pours down onto balconies below. Oh, get back, get back, get back! This boat just tipped like crazy. What the hell is going on? Videos going viral show cruise ship staff and terrified passengers grabbing poles to steady themselves. Others hold on to each other for dear life as plates crash down on the kitchen floor. Yeah, come over this way. During the confusion, passengers question if they should shift their balance of weight to make the ship upright. Oh, wow, we're tilting far. Meanwhile, flooding on the upper deck swamps tables and chairs. The Carnival cruise ship was wrapping up an Alaskan trip when the chaos erupted. A dad tries to calm his kids. Look at that. This is scary. It's all right, guys. It's all right, buddy. Relax. We're doing okay. Are we sinking? No. Our water coming down. 
Moving on, we have a server who got attacked by a shark in the middle of a surfing competition. Somehow, he actually managed to get out of the ocean without any injuries. He was literally inches away from getting eaten alive by a shark, which must have been one of the scariest moments in his life. If that would have been me, I would have probably stopped surfing after this happened, since I would be too scared to get attacked again. Stopping moment caught on live TV a shark encounter at a pro surfing competition. It happened in South Africa. A surfer fighting for his life. ABC's TJ Holmes is here with more on this incredible story. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good morning to you, Lara. This was a surfing competition that turned into a bit of a death match man versus shark. Fists and fins flying on live television for all to see. Not only did man come out on top, he actually walked away without a scratch. He's come face to face with the fiercest waves in the world. But superstar surfer Mick Fanning has never had a moment in the water as terrifying as this. A shark pummeling the three-time world champion during a surfing competition in South Africa Sunday. The whole thing playing out on live television. Take a closer look as the shark's fins break the surface. He's knocked off his board tries desperately to get back on, emergency sirens blaring. Fanning swimming for his life as rescue boats swarm in. The entire ordeal over in a matter of seconds as Fanning is plucked from the water by rescuers. You wrestled the shark. Hey, it just kept coming at my board and I just was like kicking and screaming and well, I punched it in the back. On the number one spot today, we have a kid who got kicked in the head during a soccer game and ended up in a coma. Now, when this kid woke up from his coma, he spoke exclusively Spanish, which is really weird since he wasn't able to speak Spanish at all before the accident. No one can really explain what happened and luckily for him, his English did come back after a few days. Yeah, Justin, this was the uh, Brookwood High uh, student's third concussion playing soccer. He says the sport is his passion and he wants to play it professionally, but everything's unclear right now. He can't go to school, his family's struggling, and they don't know what the total impact is. What do you remember about that game? Not really anything. This is the collision late last month that has turned Ruben and Semo's life upside down. He was playing goalie for an elite Gwinnett County-based national team when he dove for the ball. Another player kicked him in the head. Ruben's coach says the teenager stopped breathing several times. I was in shock and panic, right? And uh, then he would come back, then he started throwing up. It was a sequence of things that uh, I've never seen, really. It was bad. You thought you might lose him there. I thought I might lose him there. Ruben was airlifted to Atlanta Medical, where he spent several days in a coma. Our life has changed through this process. And when he did wake up, his parents say he spoke only in Spanish at first, a language he'd never spoken fluently before. For now, Ruben stays at home, twirling a ball and watching games on TV. Sometimes I daze out. Sometimes, like, I feel like I'm not there, but I am. He hopes one day to be back on the pitch himself. And when he does return, his coach wants him and every other goalie to wear a helmet. Everybody's waiting till that big thing happened before they start wearing the mask. We should try to prevent these things from happening earlier. As for that uh, Spanish speaking, his family and friends say for those first few days after he came out of a coma, he couldn't speak a lick of English. It was only Spanish. They say his fluency now is kind of fading away, but he still talks it uh, quite a bit. The family says their medical bills so far have at least $200,000. Friends have set up a GoFundMe site trying to raise some money. You can have a link to that on our website, WSBTV.com. These are all the videos for today, guys. Let me know down below which video out of this list you thought was the most unbelievable. As always, I'll be giving three shout outs. The first shout out goes to Adele Femme. The second shout out goes to Blossom395. And the last shout out goes to Fabulous Tiger. Go check out their channels if you have some free time. If you do, then don't forget to comment something on one of their videos saying something like Top 5 Dudes Send You. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If so, then you know what to do. Smash that like button like always. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.